Hello, in this video I will show you how I crafted my set for HC only by myself. It's set for Shadow Color in 8.3 full masterpiece and I crafted all the items. I will show you how I have done it. During making this video I think I lost a little bit of silver, so it's not good money making method, but it was pretty fun. I will show you the full process of this, how I crafted this set worth 330 million silver. During showing you the full process of making my set, I will discuss how much money I spent on some things and how much silver I earned on other things. So watch all the video to don't miss anything. So as you can see here is my uh, almost full uh, masterpiece 8.3 set for HC. It's a shadow color set with the Spectre jacket only uh, Asaka Hood is an excellent quality, not masterpiece, but it's just a matter of time when I will get masterpiece from crafting. And to be even uh, able to craft the, uh, the, the tier 8 uh, uh, items, I had to do some power level crafting to unlock the 100 spec in every item that I wanted to craft. So here I just have done some power level crafting uh, with the curse stuffs, I just have bought a lot of 4.0 materials. Uh, in this case, it was a lot of 4.0 pine planks and steel bars. I just crafted a lot of uh, curse stuffs and I studied them all to get the 100 spec here. And I have done it in the uh, town with bonus. So. Uh, the bonus for crafting curse stuffs is in Bridgewatch, so I just teleported to Bridgewatch and uh, then I crafted them all. And the same thing I have done with every other item that I wanted to craft. So to uh, level up uh, this spec to 100 to be able to craft tier 8 stalker hood, I just went to Limhurst and do the same thing as with curse stuffs. Uh, the same thing is with Shoes of Tenacity. Uh, I just bought a lot of materials to craft assassin shoes. I crafted a lot of them and studied them all to get the specs, to get the 100 spec here. Uh, I did it in Limb Course 2 because in Limb Course you got a bonus for crafting leather shoes. Uh, the bonus for crafting leather armors is in Tedford. So I just went to Tedford, bought a lot of materials and crafted a lot of mercenary jackets and studied them all too. Uh, the same thing. Uh, I have done with the uh, offhand, the bonus for crafting offhands is in Marklock. So I just bought a lot of materials for torches, it, uh, pine planks and fine cloths. I crafted a lot of torches, studied them all and I get 100 spec here. And after doing that I was able to craft tier 8 of each item that I have here. So when I get all the specs that uh, I need, I just started to craft the items uh, that I needed for my HC set uh, to craft the shadow color uh, and the specter jacket. I just have bought the materials and uh, the artifacts and all the materials that I needed. Uh, and I just went to the crafting stations. Uh, I crafted 8.0 items because my tactic to get uh, all of the items in 8.3 masterpiece was just crafting 8.0 item then rolling uh, re-rolling the quality to get the masterpiece uh, and uh, when i get the masterpiece i was just uh, enchanting this item with runes uh, souls and relics to 8.3 uh, in my opinion this tactic is very good because uh, you don't have to uh, spend a lot of focus on crafting shadow colors, uh, 8.3 shadow colors, on crafting 8.3 uh, leather armors like the Spectre jacket. So it was a lot of, uh, it was just faster method than crafting 8.3 items. Uh, so in my opinion, that's that's fine. Here we can see the, the same tactic, I just bought the uh, artifact to craft Shoes of Tenacity 
and 8 tier uh, 8 leather to craft 8.0 uh, shoes of tenacity so that's all and I have crafted 8.0 crypt candle the same way as all the items the thing with crafting caves is uh, a little bit different because even you at this moment if you got enough silver you can go and craft some 8.3 masterpiece cape uh, to do this I just have bought 8.0 masterpiece usual cape uh, I have bought 10 beast cards because I was crafting a demon cave, uh, demon cave 8.0 masterpiece demon cave and I have just bought a demon crest and I went to the uh, correct uh, crafting station to just craft uh, 8.0 masterpiece demon cape and then uh, I just uh, upgraded it from 8.0 to 8.3 with runes, souls and relics. And here starts the most fun part from uh, the crafting my own 8.3 masterpiece set. Rolling of the items to get the masterpiece quality. Uh, here it all depends of your luck. Uh, uh, you can see here uh, that I get all the masterpiece qualities very fast, but I have done a lot of uh, rolling items uh, when I was not recording. So for example, I get these masterpiece shoes in my opinion very fast because I spent like probably 30 millions to roll them and they are worth uh, like 75 million in 8.3 masterpiece. So I think I made some silver, like 40 million silver profit on this. Uh, when it comes to crafting jacket, I get the masterpiece very fast because I have spent only like 5 million silver on rolling. So, so on rolling jacket, I made probably like 35 million silver profit. So uh, that was very fast. Uh, the, I was rolling shadow color too. The thing with Shadow Color was that I haven't get the masterpiece quality very fast, so I think uh, I have spent a lot of silver to get masterpiece Shadow Color because uh, usual Shadow Color in quality like uh, you can see there is like maybe 10 million silver, something like that, and the masterpiece is probably like 90 million silver. So I got like 80 million silver uh, for rolling to not lose any silver, but I think on rolling this shadow color to get the masterpiece quality, I have spent like maybe 130 million silver. I just spent a lot of silver to get the masterpiece shadow color. So in this case, I have lost like 50 million silver in my opinion. The same thing I have done with Crypt Candle. I just crafted 8.0 usual Crypt Candle and I was rolling it to get the masterpiece. And with the Crypt Candle, it was uh, like, probably I spent like 40 or 50 millions to get the masterpiece, so it wasn't fast at all. And then when I get all the items that I needed in masterpiece, I just bought the runes souls and relics to enchant them from 8.0 to 8.3 for shadow color it's 192 runes souls and relics to upgrade it to 8.3 uh, the same thing i have done with crypt candle i just uh, re-rolled the crypt candle to the masterpiece quality uh, for the crypt candle it's probably like uh, 48 runes, souls and relics to enchant it to 
The only thing that I have done different, uh, I didn't craft 8.0 Stalker Hood, uh, then I wasn't trying to reroll it to get the Masterpiece, and then I wasn't uh, upgrading it with Rune Souls and Relics. Uh, in, at this point, I was just trying to get 8.3 Stalker Hood master, in Masterpiece quality from usual crafting, because I got very high specs, I got 100 specs in crafting Stalker Hoods, so it's just a matter of time when I will hit a masterpiece quality from, from usual crafting. So that's the only thing I have done different in this video. That's all in this video. You can try your luck too and try to get the masterpiece item by yourself. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, sub and a comment. And I want also invite you to my Discord server with money making, money making methods and guides to Albion. They should help you a lot. Link to my Discord is in the description. Thanks uh, for watching, that's all in this video and see you in the next one.